welcome to the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. Hello and welcome back to the COP TV. Uh, we're based here today in the Park Pub, outside the home of football, as you can see in the background. He uh, looks like the COP stand, and of course, it wouldn't be right if I came down here now and didn't link up with the main man, the Scouts kid, they're all sitting in the back. He's getting dough, he's getting women, he's getting threatened. You're so late, lad, you're so late. Nah, he's he's acting it, you know, he's acting it, lad. I'll have you. It's good to see you, mate. You've got a bit of a tan since you come back on your holiday, you know, back on the night. Looking smart, mate, mate. Looking good. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's I nice. came back two weeks ago, so the town was a little bit better. It's a bit faded now. But listen, we're here now to talk about Lincoln tomorrow night. Uh, it's a big game for the young lads in the team, it's a big game for those guys to shine. Um, let's talk about, first of all, how we think the match is going to go and then we'll get into a predicted 11. Very hard to predict League Cup game 11s, but what do we think about Lincoln tomorrow? Good form now. Mate, it's, it's a difficult game because it, every time we go into this competition, it always is, because it, what, what we have to do is end up starting our you know, it's back up 11 and as we see when a team hasn't had a bunch of football together specifically it does tend to end of the performances you know what I mean and li listen like you say when they're in good form they're going to come in, they're going to be highly motivated oh, yeah. as well mate because this isn't just a league cup game for them yeah. this is the type of game when they get through against Liverpool mate their players are yeah. like yeah man they're not asked there's not going to be no fans they're going to go for it mate they're going to get stuck in the manager's going to be like listen this is the best team in the world you go at them and you fucking show them everything you've got and they don't care if they see Sadio Mane or Harvey Elliott on that left wing. They're going to take them out just just as much. They're going to have the same hunger to take them out. It's going to be difficult, man. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, it's a game that, like we said, the youngsters are likely to play. Yeah. Let's talk about the prediction then in terms of the eleven. So, I mean, we'll start off, we'll, we'll go back and forth. Okay. So I'm going to go Adrian in goal. Yeah. Right back. Nico Williams. Centre back, I've got a funny feeling that Virgil might actually play and start because obviously Gomez is out, Matip's out until yeah. the, after the international break mm -hmm. I'm here. What so about Nat Phillips? I think Nat Phillips might be the other centre back. Do you think? Work. Yeah, that because that's what I was thinking because I didn't know if Gomez was actually fully out for this game because I haven't looked into that. But um, what's it called? If that's the case, out, definitely out. Yeah, okay. Then well, if that's the case, then it probably will be Banzai, and I do think. I can't think of anyone else who plays centre back for us in this game, so I'll probably have to be given to Matt Phillips, surely. I think if uh, Kia Van Kuba was still here, we'd probably he be seeing him starting with Verge, obviously both Dutch. Uh, left back, Simon Pass? Defo. I think you've got to give him a game, and this is the perfect chance to just get him introduced into the team, mate. And give him a go, give him a go, see how he is. And you know what, lads, I'm excited to see him. I'm really excited to he's see him. He's, he's, been, he's been the shot, and that's like we've least yeah. talked about out of everyone. Like, <laughs> before, like even before we signed Thiago and that. Who's listening? We've made no signings. No, we have signed Shima Cash. You know what I mean? It's like. Show some respect, guys. I've spent 13 million on a professional <laughs> exactly. football. Exactly. Comes from Olympiakos. Funny fact about Olympiakos. If ever uh, anyone asks you who's the most successful team in Europe in terms of league wins, it's Olympiakos. 46 league wins. Anyway, that's for another story. Um, right, let's get into the midfield. First name I'm going to throw at you is Pets Jones. What formation are we going I'm with? I'm going with our normal formation. Normal formation. Uh, yes. Maybe on where Ginny normally plays, on okay. the middle left. Yeah, Curtis definitely. I can see Naby Keita being brought into this game 100%. I, you know, it's a game for him to get action, an actual full 90 minutes, which I think this season, Jürgen Klopp is actually looking and bringing Naby Keita into that first team. So, all, all that does good for him is coming into this game and just seeing how it goes. So, Naby Keita as well. Naby Keita, we've got a lot of materials at the club. Is this a game maybe for the likes of Boric, seeing as though he's not no, at the club? No, I don't think so. I don't. Is James Milner fifth for this game? Because yeah, it's so I think maybe I, I was just... You Know, trying to I understood what you. I, I understood what you were trying to do. The Milner will start. Yeah, I, yeah, I understood what you were trying to do, but that's not. Like, Gruyich is probably. Yeah, never gonna, bullshit, you know what I mean, lads? It's like Gruyich is probably never going to play for the club again. So yeah. James Milner, if we're doing a prediction, James Milner to start. Uh, we're also playing three up front. Not least, um, I would say the first name I'm going with is the boy, the Portuguese, Diogo Jota. 
Dat boy is serieus, zo'n is fucking raad, die zijn het haan. Laat het buiten, Lincoln. Ja. 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 Laat het spot op, laat het spot op, laat het te gaan. Laat ik gaan, en dus nou wat, als ik zo, I think every Liverpool fan is expected om te start in this game, so it didn't be mad, but I hope he does, because I think it's a great chance for us to get excited, at least about him. I mean, it'd be heavy if he went in and had a shit performance, but we can always say it's his first game, he needs to adapt and stuff like that. Um, but listen, mate, get him in there, I feel like he can, if anyone can terrorise the defence, it's someone with the quality that Jota has, so I think he's a must if anyone's going to be brought into that team. I'd say so, uh, Origi, up top? Yeah, man. I, you know, he's not gone yet, and he, he can still contribute a lot to the team. Some people could argue Brewster with the fact he's still here, but... Yeah. I, mate, I think Origi could just offer yeah. that definite goal that we 100% might need in this game. 100% might need the new... Uh... Nah, do you know what I mean? No, like, it's it's just because you don't know if it's going to be one of them tight nil-nil games or if it's going to be 1-1. One, one. Whereas Origi, if he's on that pitch, I think he's more likely to go and nick a winner than Rian Brewster. Yeah. But that being said, though, Rian Brewster has gained experience since he last played for us. He's not just someone who's played for our under-23s anymore. He's a championship-proven player. We're facing a club who aren't even in the championship. So I'm happy to see any of them start, but I do think Origi gets the edge. Yeah, so Origi, Jota, I'm going to go with Takumi. Yeah, man. Uh, made a great start to the season and if you look at the Community Shield goal against Arsenal, he also scored a few goals in pre-season, I think, yeah. and assisted a few. Scored against Huddersfield in the behind closed doors, literally behind closed every game yeah, behind probably. closed doors. Um, but he scored in that one as well. I'd, li I'd like him to maybe notch a couple. I'd like for Jota to score, of course. Give up to get his confidence yeah. up if we need him off the bench against mm -hmm. Arsenal. Um, yeah, I'd like to see a big, a big scoreline in this one, just for a bit of confidence. No, hundred percent, and and I think it's always good to see a big scoreline from your second team because yeah. it it allows you to get excited for players like Minamino. And like you say, how boss would it be to see Minamino and 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 and, and Jota link up and just get each other's goals and assists for the whole game? This wasn't a bad game, was it? By the way, I know, yeah. They, if you don't know what game he's talking about, it's like one of my favourite, it's probably my favourite game of all time, bar the Barcelona game. Liverpool-Manchester United, always on our season, just absolutely slaps it, Alex in the face, 4-1. Yeah. Good Torres, head of the ditch. Yeah. yeah, anyway, back to the game. Here, back Roger. to the game. So that's the lineup we're going for. Yeah. Adrian, Williams, Phillips, Van Dijk, Simicas, Cater, Jones, Milner. Minamino, Origi and Jota. Ah, Samurai, Minamino. And then Depp still, off. I think... He's still got a strong bench there as well. Yeah, 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 definitely. Means that, yeah. it, you know, he will have a Mario or Firmino on the bench. Our squad tech is looking very strong going into the season, Alex. Yeah, love. This is why I'm actually looking a bit more forward to this League Cup competition because, of course, we always get the difficult fixtures. But I feel like we're more prepared for them difficult yeah. fixtures this year. I think Jurgen Klopp has actually looked at it and said, "Mate, I actually want to go out and win some of these because." You know Jürgen Klopp isn't just going to be saying, oh, we don't care about these top. It might come across that way, but yeah. he's still got to a final in his first yeah. season. Yeah. That's one thing. Another thing he is... To forget that. Exactly. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, uh, it was his first season as well with a team of players that weren't even his. This is his players. He's going to go for it, and he's going to say to these young players, this is your chance to make a mark on this year's competition, because if we win it, you have just as big as a part as the team who wins it in the final. Yeah. Love that. Great thoughts there from David Trevman before the game, catching on the fan cams after the Lincoln game on Thursday. Uh, quick, uh, another stat. Ten years ago this week, we lost here to Northampton in the League Cup. So let's let's hope we actually, you know, don't get embarrassed. And we're, we're talking like we've already gone through, to be honest. But if we do go through, Leicester or Arsenal in the next round, we'll get onto that once we beat Lincoln. But obviously, if you haven't already, guys, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to James Redman's channel as well. We're doing major things. And uh, we need all the help we can get. So come on the red men, get behind the boys. And uh, we'll see you soon.